Okay, right, let's try a different one here. This one's set up a little bit differently. In this case, we've got an item with a wholesale value of $90 and is given a markup of $15. And we want to know what is the percentage markup on the item. Let's start with our formula. Let's put in what we know. So this is always going to be 100 on the bottom. My markup was $15 and my wholesale value was $90. What I don't know is the percent markup, so I'm going to put an X in there. And now let's cross multiply. X times 90 gives me 90X and 100 times 15. 90X equals 1,500. Divide both sides by 90. And X equals 16.67%. The store is marking up that item by 16.67%. Question B asks, what will be the retail price? What will the customer pay? Retail equals wholesale plus markup. Wholesale price was $90. That's what the store paid. They marked it up $15. Our retail price is $105. And here's another question, once again, set up just a little bit differently. And this time, we know what the wholesale price is, we know what the retail price is, and the first question they ask, what is the amount of markup? They're asking for the markup in dollars. Write down our formula. In this case, all we need to know is how much they raised the price. The store charges $550, but it only cost them $200. So their profit in this case is $350. Part B asks, what's the percentage markup on the item? Let's write our formula down. Let's put in what we know. Okay, we've always got this 100 in the formula. Our markup was $350, and the wholesale price is $200. There are times when the markup is going to be more than the wholesale price. Now let's use this and cross multiply to solve for the percent markup. X times 200 gives me 200X and 100 times 350. 200x equals 35,000. We're going to divide both sides by 200. 35,000 divided by 200 gives me 175. Now that is a percent markup, so the markup is 175%. That sounds like quite a bit of profit. Last example we're going to go through. So an item has a 60% markup, and that increased the cost of the item by $15. That $15 is the dollar markup, because that's how much the item increased after they marked it up. The question asks, what was the wholesale cost of the item? As always, let's start with the formula. Put in what we know. Put in X for the wholesale cost because we don't know what that is. And let's cross multiply. 60 times X equals 100 times 15. Divide both sides by 60. 1500 divided by 60 is 25. And that's going to be $25. And keep in mind that $25 is the wholesale cost. That's the original price that the store paid for the item. Last step of the question is, and this is what every customer wants to know, what is the retail price? What's the customer going to pay? We're going to take the wholesale price, and that was $25, add it to the markup, which was $15. The customer's price is $40. That is my retail price.